Well, hello there, everyone. You've tuned in Ben Kleinberg, and I know I'm stealing UXW Bill's line, so I guess I probably should have rethought that. Please don't sue me for copyright infringement, UXW Bill. I love your videos. <laughs> Anyways, today I have another computer video for you guys. Now, this is the Dell Optiplex 755 USFF Ultra Small Form Factor, and I got this back in August at the thrift store in Decatur, Georgia, for about $20. And here is this is yet another example of how not to dispose of your old computer because. I won't. I'm not going to boot the computer up because it actually does have a. It has a ton of personal information, including social security numbers, people's driver's licenses, and stuff like that. And the computer belonged to an auto insurance agent. But I'm going to go on a little rant here. So if you don't like, if you don't want to hear the rant, I'll have a link in the description to skip the rant. But it's just going to be a brief rant. I've got. This is the third computer in a row that I've gotten from a local Atlanta thrift store where the hard drive was not wiped. I've gotten three, two laptops and this desktop right here, and the hard drive still had all the previous owner's data on it. I mean, it's not rocket science, people. Wipe your hard drive. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard to, to just... I mean, even if, you don't, even if you don't know how to do like a, like a low-level format, just do a clean install of Windows. It's better than nothing. And if you really are that concerned about data theft, just take the damn hard drive out. I've seen people do that all the time. In fact, some of the thrift stores I go to, the computers have the hard drives removed. That's the smart way to do it. But to just leave all your data, especially when you're dealing with that sensitive informa that sensitive of information, come on. Anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing in this short video today. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to be taking a brief tour of the computer. We're going to install Windows 10 Pro on it. It currently has Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit, but we're going to be putting Windows 10 Pro 64-bit on it. Specs of this machine has a uh, 2.66 Intel Core 2 Duo U, uh, E8200. It has 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM an 80 gigabyte Diamond Crash hard drive, or Mac store, but it's made by Diamond Max, and Intel GMA 965 graphics. So we'll go ahead and take a quick tour. So on the front, we have power button here, TRS jacks for headphone and microphone input, two USB 2.0 ports, DVD burner here, and as you can see, it's a laptop style DVD burner used in uh, the same used in some of Dell's Latitude laptops and to release it uh, and to get to, to re replace it you just take this little screw out push this button here and you just pull the drive out just like you can on Dell Latitude laptops we have stickers for Intel Core 2 Duo Windows Vista of course and actually on this side there is a Windows Vista business product key which if you want that key I'll hold it up to the camera just pause the video and it's yours, because Windows Vista is no longer supported, so I don't think Microsoft is going to care. On the back, is that in the shot? Yep, it is. Okay. So on the back, we have the tab to open the case. To open the case, you just turn this, you just turn it like, just turn this like, just turn it in the direction of the arrow. And, uh, and you just lift the side off, like that. There's just a there's a shot of the inside. You've got the 80 gigabyte hard drive. Underneath the shroud is the CPU cooler, and of course the, the intake and outtake fans. There's the DDR2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. Go ahead and put the side panel back on. There we go. And we'll take a look at the back. So on the back we have the DA12 input for the power because the power supply is not built in. It uses this external power supply with this giant brick. Weighs about a million tons. We have DVI output, although I have a DVI to VGA adapter here, so we can use it with the VGA monitor. We have RS-232 uh, serial underneath that. RS-232 serial, DB25 parallel here, five USB 2.0 ports, Gigabit Ethernet on board, and audio and a audio out and a line in and microphone in combo port here. 
So that is the tour of the computer. So now I will get this thing set up. We'll get our copy of Windows 10 and we'll get rocking and rolling. All right, we got the computer all set up. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we'll turn the power on. Go ahead and hit F2 to go into setup. And uh, while I'm putting in the, oh, I also have a Windows 7 disk in here. I didn't even notice that. All right. Take our Windows 10 Pro 64-bit disk, put it in the optical drive. It doesn't look like anyone left anything in the optical drive. I'm sort of surprised, actually. So we'll take a look at the system uh, values. So as you can see, we have an Optiplex. Let me zoom in on that. Optiplex 755 running BIOS revision A11 from 2008. That's when this computer was built. There's the service tag. Here's the CPU info, Core 2 Duo E8200, 2.66 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM. Date and time was actually right when I first booted this up, so I was very surprised that that CMOS battery was not dead. Uh, we'll make sure that we have, uh, and um, it actually has smart support, I didn't even realize that was even there. so. All right, so let's see here. So I think everything, I think it's set to boot from the CD, but let me just, first, but let me just make sure. USB, network, okay. Or CD-ROM, okay, yes, CD-ROM is first. Okay, so that's great. So let's go ahead and exit setup. Put the disk in, so we should be able to boot from the CD. There we go, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. I like what I see. Let's zoom out again. Zoom in a little bit more. There it is, in all its glory. Now, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that I'm not really a fan of Windows 10 uh, myself because, you know, I, I don't really like the concept of Windows as a service. You know, I, I just, I never was too keen on that idea. And, you know, it, it just... Because, you know, it just seems that Microsoft is constantly removing features from Windows 10, whereas before, you know, you got, an, you got all hyped up for a new release of Windows every, what, three, four years? And now it's just like, yay, another, another creator's update or another, you know, fall, spring, summer, winter update. You know, it's just like, it, it takes the fun out of waiting for the next version of Windows to come out, and it's just not as enjoyable. So... Personally, that's why I'm not a big fan of Windows 10. I don't like the spine on you. Yes, I realize you can use third-party tools to disable it, but like I said, it's still just not the same as um, it's still not the same as um, you know Windows 7 and 8 and earlier versions. So, so yeah. Anyways. This looks like it's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video here, and I will come back when we're in the setup. All right, here we are at the Windows 10 setup. Do we have mouse input? Yes, we do. Good. All right, so yes, I'm in the United States. We'll click Next, and we will install now. Setup is starting. Cool. I'm probably going to need the keyboard to type in the product key, so let me grab that real quickly here. Hopefully I don't knock stuff over here. All right, product key time. Don't look. You can look at my other you can look at my laptop while I type the product key in. Yes, I'll give away the Vista product key cuz Vista is no longer supported, but but Windows 10, I cannot I I don't think Microsoft I think Microsoft would care if I gave away a Windows 10 product key, so sorry, Charlie. All right, I think I got all that, so. Yep, took the product key. All right, now back to the screen. 
Alright, yeah, I'll just leave the keyboard on my bed. Okay, yes, I totally read the EULA. We are not going to be upgrading. We want to delete everything on this drive because there's personal data on here, so we want to delete everything and start fresh. So we'll delete both partitions. And there we go. We are on the way to installing Windows 10. All right, so this is the time where, as uh, the Flying Scotsman would say, make yourself a cup of tea. Or if you live in the States like me, go make yourself a glass of lemonade. I'll be, I'll be back when this is done. And we're back. It's about, mm, I'd say it's about, uh, what, what time is it now? 1.44, we started this at 1 o'clock, so that took about 45 minutes. All right, so we will not be using Express Settings because they are the devil, so we do not want that. We do not want ads to use my... To, we don't want to let apps use my advertising ID. Uh, yeah, location services, yeah, that's fine. Let me just get the mouse cable untangled here. Yeah, that's fine. Send typing, yeah, that's fine. I don't really care about that. Personalization, so just the advertising stuff. Smart screen filter on. Yeah, we'll send error reports because Bill Gates needs more of those on his desk. Or Nadella, I guess, now because he's the current CEO of Microsoft. Hi. Oh, good. They're setting things up for me. Well, thank you, Windows. I'll let you do that. What I'm curious, I'm really curious though, if it's actually going to download updates, because this is actually, the, the disk I'm using is a Windows 10 RTM disk, so I don't remember what build number that is, but, yep, getting critical updates. I figured it was going to do that because I plugged in the Ethernet cable, so, and I know it does this with Windows 8 too. I wonder if that'll download the latest build. I don't know if it'll do that, but, you know, I, I don't know, but... Uh, this is gonna. This takes a while, so I'm gonna pause again, and I will come back when we were at the desktop. See you guys then. Okay, so Microsoft account, no thanks. Who's going to use this PC? I'll just type my name. I'll just put Ben. Turn the camera again. Do I really want a password? No thanks. No, I don't want a password. We'll just. Well, I'll pass on the password. God, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> oh, and we're... Some... Oh, okay. It was glitching out there for a second. Oh, now it's back to this. I thought you already set things up for me. Didn't you just do that before the machine rebooted? Oh, Microsoft. When, are you, when will you learn to get your stuff right? This won't take long. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, well, time for another jump cut. See you guys at the desktop. And we made it, ladies and gentlemen. And maybe not because the video driver is glitching out again. Kleinberg.local. It even even picked up my uh, my domain my domain name. That is awesome. Doesn't look like we got audio drivers though. Oh no, it just because it's not plugged in. Okay. Alright, first things first. Let's disable something because I know this causes problems. So we will disable we'll disable OneDrive. And we want to reboot. God, it doesn't even have the black uh, right-click context menu for the start menu. It just has it has the Windows 8 style one. <laughs> and there's a reason why I disable OneDrive on startup, and that is because a lot of times it for whatever reason, with these early builds of Windows 10, it bugs me to update it every single time. Uh, every single time I boot the system up, so that so I, so I just disable it on startup because a I don't use OneDrive and b it sometimes causes errors to appear during startup. So all right, let me actually take the uh, I'll probably take our disk out. Yeah, it's not the nice shiny and pretty ones with all the holograms. This is what a Windows 10 Pro disk looks like. And actually, I can't remember if this key that I used is already in use, because now that I think about it, I thought this was an unused copy of Windows 10, but now that I think about it, I do remember in tr at least attempting to load it on a Dell Ultrabook that I got from a client, and... And 
I just can't remember if I if I've completed the install on there or if I aborted it and went to Windows 7 or Windows 8. I just can't remember. Uh, <laughs> gotta love these early builds of Windows 10. It's prompting me for a password and I didn't put a password on, but I can see the spinning dots in in the background there. What happens if I hit enter? Absolutely nothing at all. Try the try the other enter key. Nope. Oh, it's still got me to the desktop. <laughs> Gotta love these early builds. Oh, and the time's not right either, so I'll need to change that. Alright, let's mess around a little bit here. Let's move the keyboard out of the way. Alright, so let's fix the date and time, because what's it think it is? Okay, the date is correct, but the time is not. So we need to fix that. Oh, of course, it takes it to the stupid settings app. This is another thing I don't like about Windows 10. I like the good old-fashioned control panel introduced in Vista. I don't like this new settings crap. So I am in Eastern Time. Yeah, we don't need different time zones or anything like that. All right, well, we're at the desktop. Let's just see if we have the Internet. Let's open up Microsoft Edge, everyone's favorite browser. And let's try to go to a web... Oh, let's try to go to Microsoft.com. I don't know if that's local or if... I, well, I know Microsoft.com is not local, but if the Getting Started page might be local, so... But let's try to go to a website. So let's go to YouTube.com. Let's see if we have an internet connection. We have the internet. There we go. We have an internet connection. I figured... And it's showing that it's connected in the... Um, it's showing that it's connected in the in the uh, taskbar over there, so we'll go ahead and there, yep, there's my channel. There are other Ben Kleinbergs on here too, but apparently I have the most uh, liked videos. Yeah, there's my Atari Jaguar stream, my Gateway Solo video, installing Windows ME, so yeah, this is definitely functional. Let's take a look at our system properties. Any year now, and Windows is activated, oh cool! So it so the key wasn't in use. Okay, cool. I didn't I thought it was in use, but apparently not. Okay. Yeah, I'll zoom in on that. Come on, camera. Yep, there it is. Windows 10 Pro, Core 2 Duo E8200 at 2.66 gigahertz and 2 gigs of RAM. And we will be joining the system to a domain, but not tonight, cuz I actually have to le I actually have another client's computer that's going to be coming in around 3 o'clock, so I'm just going to have to put this computer aside for now, but hey, it works. We got Windows installed. <laughs> God, look at that down in the tray. I mean, there's no, the Action Center is, this is before the Action Center was next to the system clock. This is, yeah, like I said, this is Windows 10 RTM. This is the first build of Windows 10, which I don't even think is still supported. I don't even think Microsoft still supports this, but hey, I mean... We made it, we got Windows installed, and that's all, I'm, that's all I care about. So, for now, we're going to go ahead and shut down, and until then, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.